Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Slide 2 Band of Thieves for the Sony PlayStation 2. In the last episode, we nearly finished the job. We powered up that old terminal near where Car Carmelita is being held hostage. And we got our hands on some tanks. Now, we need to finish the job. And to do that, we're going to have to select Murray because we... Alright, Murray. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. We need him to get to the castle's main gate, which thankfully isn't that hard. We just run all the way here like we've done a million times. Once again, just avoid the searchlights. You should be good. the truth or this is gonna get ugly oh yeah the lights are down Bentley time to call in the cavalry I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out attention bloodthirsty mercenary forces the castle defense, defense is shut down, down. seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by directing an attack on the castle charge for victory for glory that should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. And from here, we need to paraglide to the, gl to the blimp. Thankfully, I should be able to make it here okay. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. And now we need to beat up the enemies that are going to show up over here. Mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! <sighs> Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your fate. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. And with that, we are hacking again. You want to make sure that you have as few ships around as possible, whether they're the shielded variety that shoots at you or not. If you have to shoot down a bunch of ships, so be it. And we will have to stay on the move. I'd rather move around than fight off a whole bunch of these guys. Because this can be a pain in the butt if I don't. Remember, you want to keep the gate that you need to destroy. All the little pieces of the barrier. Your main priority. And you just want to survive. Don't get into a fight with multiple enemies. It won't end very well. There we go. That should do it. Aha! I've isolated the brain pack. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. 
my dear, you really should... <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, Cap. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, this should be enough for the old bird. Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan, it... This wasn't in the plan. And now we have the chase after Neela, again, just like we have done in previous episodes. This can be a little tricky if you don't know what to do. Attention all brawlers. Focus your attack on the contestants of this floor. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. You want to follow Neela closely. If she drops a web on the ground, it will flash yellow, and you will need to jump on it to catch up with Neela and see where she is. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time, you're going to waste time, you're going to get the job failed message, and you're going to have to do this whole part all over again. You'll eventually have to chase her into the well. You'll have to jump onto the boats. Thankfully, she does leave the little yellow, orange, and red trail. And she will drop another web here again. And you need to catch up with her. if you want to keep chasing her. Also, the camera's a pain in the butt there for some reason. Also, she makes the guillotine drop there. That's something. And we will have the catch up with her over here. And then she'll jump on that web platform, and we'll finally catch up with her. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. He's going to do that again. Meanwhile, as Fly is chasing after Nayla, we, as Bentley, now have to shoot a whole bunch of things out of the sky. Mostly planes. You want to shoot down 20 enemy things, whether they be tanks or planes. More than likely, they're mostly going to be planes. But I believe... Oh, maybe you can't get rid of the tanks. I was under the impression that maybe you could, but... Well, maybe not. Just focus on the planes. I'm pretty sure the tanks aren't going to hurt you anyway. Sorry about that. Yeah, you can't destroy the tanks. Unfortunately for us... And, of course, you do want to be careful. Keep an eye on the planes very carefully, because you never know when you might get shot at. If it's coming towards you, you definitely want to be shooting at it. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. Back here, 
Tessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. First of all, hey, why can't you read me? The Carmel leader shot out the guidance systems and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down! 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 That I belong to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about me and the crooked clown. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. You think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hands. And now we have to fight the Contessa. Thankfully, the Contessa is pretty easy. When she charges towards you, you want to run to the side and you want to keep hitting her. If you get knocked down, you'll eventually get back up. And after every couple of strikes, you'll be able to take out a little hit of, bit of her health. If she throws any of those cocoons forward, she'll send some spiders at you. You definitely want to avoid those. Just keep striking Contessa whenever you can. And if you can get rid of the spiders, more power to you. You'll eventually get her health all the way down. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye! And she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks! Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. And from here, we are now playing as Murray in the tank. You have to chase after Carmelita in the tank in order to catch up with her, just like that, and keep shooting her. I made that look a lot easier than it was. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cookie. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. And now we have to face Carmelita again. It's much like before, except she has a new attack. If her head gets super huge, you know she's about to use it. And she should be using it at any point now, I think. There it is. She'll also shoot this green light out of her eyes, and if it hits you, the entire your entire surroundings will be this weird green and purple set of lights. Or this is what happens. That's actually what happens. Actually, it's pink and purple, not green and purple. And you get a hit in the side and you take a little bit of damage. Oh, jeez. You'll probably take damage more than likely just from getting hit or running into something else. You can still move while you're hypnotized, but you can't attack. 
If she's doing this attack, just run around her and hit her. You've got a strong mind, Peter. I never would have guessed. I told you he would do that again. Anyway, episode 5 is done. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Mila, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. And with that, episode 5 is done. And it took less than 20 minutes as well. Next up is episode 6. And judging by the portrait on the right, that is John Bison. We got our first glimpse of him in episode 2. Back at Rajan's party. Before I go... I know that I got the vault thing. 212! Not too bad. That is really neat. Still did it in about two hours, so that's pretty good. Episode 6 will obviously take place in a new area, now that we are no longer in Prague. Which means we're going to have to not only go after a new clockwork part and deal with a new bad guy, but we also have to get all the clue bottles again. But that will have to wait until the next video. Join me next time where we begin Episode 6 of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!